What up, though? We've got a ton of stuff to get done today, a ton of filming. We've got to run by some vitamin locations. We've got to run by some facilities. We've got to go ahead and give out some free merchandise and some stuff like that. So I'm about to pop a max once we get in the car, and we're going to get this day rolling. Can you guess what the different ones are? No. Yeah, Can you guess what these are? Um, I know that big I mean, yellow one is the fish I'm one. Sure. Uh, one of them has yes. to be fish oil. Yes. Uh, the other one's B3. B12. That was close okay, though. Okay, B12. What's that one? Uh, oh, uh, green tea. Spirulina. Oh, spirulina. You okay, get all that. Sense. You can get all that in detox though. Oh, so yeah. you carry around a little thing like this, or you just get a tub of detox. If you want to go get a deal on your food, especially if you have to meal prep, you have to look for two things. One, you have to look for the noodle container in the parking lot. And two, you gotta make sure it says international on the sign. I'm telling you about some major savings. Yo, the thing about Brussels sprouts and other cruciferous vegetables is that they are chocolate blocked with nutrients, man. They get all the phytochemicals and stuff that you get from good plant sources. Hi guys, so we are Rock. Yeah, some of the most nutrient dense protein out there is organ meat, especially like liver and stuff like that. Beef liver, in terms of mineral content, off the charts. So people always make. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was too close. There you go. So people always make the excuse that eating or preparing food is too expensive. We just got three pounds of chicken, two pounds of of New York strip. A whole head of cauliflower, two pounds of broccoli, two pounds of Brussels sprouts, and five pounds of potatoes for $26.99. And that's easy enough food to last. We're gonna prep it, but that's like three days worth of meal prep, no problem. So we're gonna go over to this vitamin supplement store, um, Five Star, get right? Five Star Nutrition. Five Star Nutrition, and we're gonna compare. I'm gonna ask the guy what his top selling fat burners are if they have any and what is top selling pre-workouts are and we're just gonna look at the ingredients and compare them to what's in Chef Fat Max. We're gonna see what is similar and then see what's not. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at some of the ingredients that are in Shed Fat Max, but we're gonna see what ingredients we find commonly across some of these other popular pre-workouts that are also found in Shed Fat Max. Tone. All right. And we all know that marketing is a big thing, right? So when I was bodybuilding, I used to be sold on packaging alone. There we go, boom. Caffeine and hydros. You guys know that? Caffeine and hydros. Green coffee bean extract. Oh, green coffee bean extract. Theanine, you know we have theanine. Yohimbe, which we know is in Shed Fat Max. There's a little bit in each and every one of these guys, so that goes to pr that proves our point that the ingredients that we put in Shed Fat Max are valuable, not just to us and not just found effective in our eyes alone, but in several different companies. I mean, we just looked at a half dozen different ones and there was two to three to four of our ingredients in each one of those guys. So Shed Fat Max is a product that speaks for itself. Hey, how you doing? You going into the gym right now? Yeah. I got a question for you. You ever try to work out at home? Try to get it in like when you can't make it over here? Yeah, I got a little gym at home. You this do? Is, this is where I need to be. You got any resistance bands at the house? Like at your home gym, do you use any resistance bands at it? Mm -mm. Have, have you ever been interested in using them? Uh, I've tried them, you're okay. Do you want a free pair? Yeah, free like, yeah, it's not going to cost you anything. I'm not going to actually do anything. It's There's like, no if you such want thing them, as free, my man. Yeah. Oh, for sure. 100%. Even a hard time costs you yeah, something. No, for real, man. You can have these. We're literally, we just, we're running errands and we've got some of our product in the back and we're just giving stuff out, man. Th this is what I'll ask you to do. Do you ever get on social media? Of course. Follow us on Instagram. That's her right there. Yep. Oh. Okay. There you go, man. All right. Enjoy well, your workout, you. bud. All right. Thank you. Yeah. You want to prepare everything? I'm not going to ask you to do anything for you. It's not like no cost, no catch. not like you got to do 100 burpees or anything. Yeah. I just, just want to give you something. We're riding around doing errands. We work for an online fitness company. Okay. And you can follow us if you want. Okay. At Workout Routine or at Shed Pack Kitchen. Those are our two all right, appreciate right. it. Yeah, enjoy your workout, yeah. man. Yeah. Yo, explain to YouTube what you're about to do. Uh, we're getting ready, well, I'm getting ready to do some meal prep for myself for this week. Um, so, a lot of people, I think, struggle with meal prepping because they get confused on, like, how they can be efficient with it. So, I'm just going to try to share a little bit of my knowledge and some tips that I have incorporated into meal prepping that hopefully other people can use it.
All right, guys, we got Delonte here. He's getting ready to get a training session in, so we grabbed him real fast. We're asking him what he's going to do. He said he's going to do most likely upper pushes, so he's just going to do a couple of upper body mobility exercises to get his shoulders prepared for the workout ahead. So the first one he's going to do, he's familiar with these, are band dislocations. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your band, you're going to find an appropriate width on your grip. You can use a, a small resistance, you can use heavy resistance. He's warming up, he's looking at trying to get all the little intrinsic muscles in his rotator cuff and his shoulders open up, opening up his chest. And all he's going to do is going to maintain Good integrity with this core position, tight glutes, and he's gonna open that band up up overhead. So if you could just do a couple of reps for us. Take as far back as you can. And the thing is, man, guys like him who are muscle bound, having more muscle tissue sometimes can limit you a little bit. So he's gotta make sure that he stays on top of his mobility if he wants to make sure that he's able to maintain healthy range of motion and to get the most out of his work. I need to stand all the way up here, so I don't... <laughs> So we got Garrett here. We were walking around and I noticed that he actually had some resistance bands on his incline press and I just wanted to ask him, do you think that that, why, why do you put incline, why do you put bands on your press? So, you know, when you're doing a typical bench press, yeah, you're pressing yeah. the weight, it doesn't, necessarily you know, force there's not contraction throughout the entire range of movement so by adding the bands uh it's kind of like using a cable in the sense that you're going to force contraction of yep. the muscle throughout the entire range of the movement right. and the tension is going to increase as you extend uh, so it just provides for greater contraction more muscle fiber and so for a guy like you who's clearly trained as a bodybuilder mm -hmm. right we all know that in terms of aesthetics isolation and being able to get the most out of every rep counts right so absolutely. for a guy who could probably utilize a lot more weight than that he's making the smart move and he's found a way to stress the system without massively risking injury because that's no good you can't train there's no gains if you're hurting on the sidelines so Implementing something like a resistance band allows him to use a weight that's maybe a little bit more modest, but he can get tension throughout the entire range of motion, a full range of motion, thereby strengthening the muscle through the entire range of motion and minimizing the risk of developing adhesions at certain sticking points and again, ultimately trying to avoid injury, right? Yeah, that's absolutely. Pretty yeah, fair to say. That's fair to say. Garrett, appreciate yeah. you, man. Thank you. I'll be looking around for you here, man. All right, guys. So it's been a long day. We started at what, like 10 o'clock this morning mm -hmm. once you finally showed up? Um, it's now 7.30, we're getting ready to leave DMV Iron Gym, Abdul and Marvin just finished their workouts, we got a chance to meet some really interesting, very kind people here, the staff here is phenomenal, so anybody who's from the DMV area, you've got to come check them out, DMV Iron Gym, awesome facility, lots of really great, unique equipment, we're getting ready to head out, guys, thank you for hanging with us today. We're still not done. Kelvin's got to drive back to Maryland. I got to get back to Abdul's and then drive back to Richmond. So the grind continues as always. But guys, we'll be talking to y'all soon.